Welcome to New York! This is so exciting! Gemma and I popped over here a few days ago and if you follow her on Instagram you'll know that unfortunately she's really hurt her back which totally sucks but she didn't want to let you guys down so she's back at the apartment resting up and she sent myself and Sam who's behind the camera into the streets of New York to find you guys the best treats in town and of course we'll take an abundance of treats back to her so she can join in the fun. We're going to start our day in Lower Manhattan so we need to get ourselves over the river to our first bakery which is the coolest place in town. Just crossing over the Williamsburg Bridge, which is taking us right to the heart of downtown Manhattan to our first place, which is called Supermoon Bakehouse. Hopefully, you guys have already heard of it, but if not, I'm going to take you there because it's so good. Okay, so what we've gone for is the hot apple pie double baked croissant and it smells absolutely incredible. So it basically is a croissant that's filled with apple compote and I think it's got a spiced creme pat in there as well. Uh, it looks like there's loads of caramel all over it too. It just looks incredible. So <laughs> I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do this, but I've gotta try this, hey? <laughs> Not only does this taste absolutely insane, but the textures that are going on are awesome. So you've got, because it's double baked, the croissant on the outside is super, super crispy and flaky. And then you've got the smooth creme pat and then the crunchy apples. This is just awesome. I don't think I'm going to manage to eat all of this. We're going to get it packaged up so we can take some back to Gemma and then we'll move on to our next spot. Chinatown and we've come to KK Modern Cakes which is a Japanese bakery and we've come here for one thing and one thing only and that is some bouncy bouncy Japanese cheesecake. Um, so I asked if I could just get a slice of cheesecake but they said they only sold it by the whole so um, unfortunately <laughs> for nobody I got an entire bouncy cheesecake. Um, I've never actually had one before, so I'm really excited. Let's try and get it open. And this is why they call it bouncy, look. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> okay, right. Just gonna dig into my entire cheesecake. Oh my gosh, it's so, it's not like a cheesecake at all. It's so fluffy, okay, here it goes. I mean, what even is it? It's so good, but I don't know what it is. It's like a cross between cheesecake and cake. It's so light and delicious. I do honestly feel like I could eat this entire cake because it is so light and it's not like as tangy as like a regular kind of, or like a New York cheesecake. Um, it's, yeah, it's something like I've never eaten before. But, I'm not going to eat the whole thing because we've got like nine other places to visit today. So 
So I'll package this up and we're gonna go and get a milkshake. So we're just down the road from Cakey um, Modern Cakes, which is where we got our bouncy cheesecake from. And we're in Milk and Food Cereal Bar. And here we're gonna get soft serve and milkshakes. It's got cereal on top. Um, I'm gonna get a milkshake because I need a little bit of rehydration after all that cake so far. And also Gemma and me, we're milkshake sisters. So this one's for her. So I went for Fruit Berry Bliss, which is strawberry and blueberry milkshake. Um, and it's topped with fruity pebble cereal and extra gummy bears for good health. So I'm gonna take this with me to our next stop. So we're gonna start heading north, uptown. Um, our next stop is a traditional cheesecake. So we just went to the Japanese cheesecake. And now we're going to go to Eileen's, which I've been told is the best cheesecake in New York. So you probably don't know this about me, but cheesecake is my absolute all-time favorite thing in the whole wide world. And there's no way you can come to New York without getting a bit of traditional New York cheesecake. And Eileen's has been here, well she's been doing it for over 35 years and like I said before, she's been, I've been told that this is the best cheesecake in New York so I'm really excited. <gasps> okay, so I've got a caramel pecan cheesecake and it is the perfect size for one. So here we go. It was so nice. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it, but it was so good. Mm. It was so creamy. So it's really tangy and it's really light. It's fluffy here, so it's not kind of stodgy and heavy. And the biscuit base kind of comes all the way up the sides because I think they bake them in like tiny little pans. So they pack in the biscuits all around the bottom and the sides. And then on the top, they've just poured like a delicious caramel. Mm, salted as well, and then pecans on top too. Mm, it's just so good. I'm sorry Gemma, but you're not going to get any of this. Mm. I did actually really need a drink to kind of get this sweet <laughs> food moving. So we came here to charge our matcha and I got what is actually called the blue drink, believe it or not, it is blue. Um, and in here is collagen, blue algae, lavender honey, hemp milk, and a shot of matcha. <laughs> I, it sounds like it's gonna be really good for me. That is bonkers. <laughs> I mean, I've literally no idea what collagen and blue algae are supposed to taste like, but this is delicious. Um, and you can have like all different types of milk in there and extra matcha, and I love matcha. And that is really, really delicious. And I'm sure it's gonna do wonders for my insides. Enough 
with the healthy stuff, let's get back on the sweet wagon because that is why we're all here. And it turns out there is a lot of ice cream in New York. Like we probably could have done an entire ice cream tour for you guys. But we have, you know, rummaged around the city and found what we think is the best ice cream store. And we, so we've come here to Morganstern's Ice Cream. They have over 88 different flavors to choose from. So let's go inside and see what they've got. difficult to decide so I just asked the guys inside what their recommendations were and one said raw milk and the other said salted caramel pretzel so I'm gonna try the pretzel one first mm. I mean you just can't go wrong with salted caramel and that is so delicious okay let's give the raw milk a go I can see why he recommended it. It tastes just really, really fresh and clean. That is so delicious. They have so many. So yesterday when we came by to do, to scout out the best ice cream place, I had burnt sage, which was amazing. And we also tried the French fry flavor, which just tasted like someone had dipped French fries into ice cream. Crazy. Let's take these with us. Now, if like me, you go to bake some cookies and you actually end up with half the amount of cookies you were supposed to because you accidentally ate half of the cookie dough, then this yeah, is the place for you. This is dough and they sell cookie dough. I've been so excited about this place because I just adore cookie dough. So I went for two scoops and I've got pumpkin brownie because it's kind of seasonal and it sounds kind of fun. So let's do that one first. Mm. Amazing. It's got loads of spices in there too. It just honestly just tastes like, I mean, I say when you're a kid, but I do this like every week, eating cookie dough. And under here is cake batter. Let's try and get down there. I also got extra sprinkles because, I mean, you can never have too many sprinkles in life. I can't get this out. Here it is, here it is. Mm. I mean, whoever came up with this idea is like an absolute genius. This is amazing. Please come here. Mm. I just kind of assume that everybody's heard about Milk Bar and if you haven't then I don't really know where you've been but Milk Bar is by Christina Tosi who is just an absolute genius. She was the pastry chef at Momofoku and they were just like you're amazing everything you're doing is so like innovative and just awesome you need your own shop and thus Milk Bar was born and they're like everything they do is iconic but this is probably the thing they're most famous for and that is the cereal milk soft serve they are the original cereal milk people and I mean I've had this before and it's incredible but I'm gonna eat it again it's like one mouthful and it's like nostalgia just like hits you in the face from when you were a kid and you're eating your uh, cereal the best bit is when you get the milk at the bottom and it's kind of sweet and kind of salty it's just amazing and I've actually tried to recreate this in kind of cake and cupcake form so many times and I just can never get it and I think since being here I've got a few things I'm excited to try I might just pack my suitcase with loads of American cereal <laughs> for the way home and hopefully we'll ace it when we get back to crumbs and doilies mm, it's so good so you're probably wondering when on earth we're going to stop for some donuts that is now like obviously we can't come to america without donuts and i can't go back to the apartment without a donut for Gemma. so we're just heading a few blocks up this way and we're going to go to dough and see what donuts they've got on offer today
finally donut time guys and I think we've come to the right place. So this is dough and we have gone for two donuts. One which is hibiscus which looks absolutely beautiful and the other is dolce de leche which just looks so indulgent. I mean look at that. that is a thing of beauty and all of these are made in small batches they're made every day fresh on site just out the back there I've got pretty high hopes for this oh my god that is incredible oh, it's so soft and it's so smooth I don't know what else to say it's perfect This is the hibiscus one. The hibiscus is like a Mexican flower. It's got a slightly tangy flavor. It's really fresh. And this color is 100% natural. Mm. Oh, my kind of tangy fruitiness complements the kind of doughy cakiness of the donut perfectly. Mm. This is the perfect spot to come for your all-American donut. Final bakery left on our New York bakery tour, and we're gonna to go to Levan Bakery for some kick ass cookies. It's a little bit up north, we're gonna to go to Upper West Side, but it's totally worth the trek. got my cookies they smell incredible like the whole street just smells like this bakery and they're warm and I can't wait to eat them but Central Park is literally two blocks this way so the sun's still up let's go eat cookies in the park So here we are in Central Park, golden hour is upon us. What a perfect time to be alone with a couple of warm cookies. So what have we got? I got two because, I mean, we've got to get both of these. There's milk chocolate chip and walnut, and then of course, double chocolate chip. Okay, I literally, I mean, I've had these before, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm sure I'm still gonna be just as excited. Oh yeah, look at that. Eat a little bit of this one. Mmm. So good. It's like, hang on. They've managed to get the perfect consistency all the way through the cookie. But the outside is ever so slightly crispy. Mm. I honestly don't know how they do this. It's incredible. I haven't actually tried this walnut one so I'm gonna give that one a go too. Oh my goodness that is packed full of chocolate chips and walnuts and the chocolate is oozy melty. Mm. They've got to be some of the best cookies I've ever eaten. Honestly it's so worth coming all the way up this end of town. So that's it, that brings us to an end of our New York City bakery tour. It's been so much fun and it sucks that Gemma couldn't do it with me, but I'm gonna take all of this home to her so she can pig out on sweet treats. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it and you know, if we've missed a few places that you think we really should have gone to, then we're still here for a couple of days, so let us know in the comments box below. We'll put all the uh, names of places that we went to, everything we ate in the description box, so you can check them out if you want to as well. I'm gonna do a couple of laps of the park because I need to burn some calories, which is such a lie. 
because I could never leave, never run around this park. I'm just gonna go home, put my feet up, maybe order a pizza because I am shattered. But it's been awesome. Thanks for watching.